Hey there, my name is Anthony and welcome to Vibe with Velo. Today I'm going to be showing you how to find your code uh, within your web browser. So what I mean by that is essentially your JavaScript's executing in your web browser and, op and obviously when you've written your, your JavaScript in Velo, there's some code there that you might want to be able to, you know, set breakpoints on and otherwise debug uh, and make sense of from within your web browser itself rather than going through Velo, uh, especially when you're trying to debug it live. This is also something that works both on your previews of your websites and your live published sites. I'll be showing you the live published site, but it's the same exact process on both. So let's just get started with it. The first thing we're going to do is we're we'll come over to our website that I have loaded up here and we'll pretend like there's a bug in the website that we want to investigate. So there's two different ways to get to this next screen, but I can either right click and choose inspect to bring up the developer tools, or I can go to the menu in the top right, go down to more tools and choose web developer tools. It's a very, I'm doing this on Firefox. It's also a very similar process to do on Chrome. Uh, it's really, you know, the same for the most part, no matter what browser you're using. So once that's up, you will have this other tab and this other window and it'll have a variety of tabs. The tab you'll want to use is called console. Uh, and once you open the console, you'll see it'll say, oh, running the code for the home page, the title of the page. And to debug this code in your browser's devs tool, open c1dmp.js. Now this file name changes depending on the, on the page that you're on. So it'll never be the same all the time. You'll need to open up the console in order to check it. Also, sometimes when you're doing this, what you're going to see potentially is more than one file. Uh, if, for example, you were using masterpage.js to include some code on all your pages, you would see a separate uh, line mentioning that file as well, and basically just telling you the names of each of them so you can go find them. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and copy that, and then we'll hop over to the debugger. And on Windows or Linux, you'll press Control P. On Mac, you'll press Command P in order to open the go to file dialog. This is very similar on Chrome as well. Uh, and what you'll see here is you'll see a couple uh, c1dmp.js. It's probably going to be the first one. So there's a regular one that is your code uh, fully written out. And then there's another one that is a minified version of your code that obviously is very hard to debug. So we'll go to the first result. And now we can see that we have our code here. And if we wanted, we can go ahead and set our breakpoints and do whatever else we needed to do. And there is one more way to find our code, and that is to navigate to it using uh, the panel on the left, which will allow us to basically browse all the files of our website. So if we go ahead and expand this partials client worker, you'll see in Chrome, it's normally called client worker. And then we go down, we can see uh, bundler.wix-code.com. And so that's where our code is stored. We'll go ahead and expand this folder. That's a long UUID. Obviously yours will be different. Uh, and then we'll see c1dmp.js. But like I mentioned before, this file in particular is a minified version of your code. So this file is not very useful for debugging because it's <laughs> not very, uh, clear what's going on in it because it's been put through a process that makes it a much smaller version and much more obfuscated than it should be. But we'll notice that there is a public slash pages folder. So we'll expand that. And there again, we have our code. We can go ahead, scroll through it, set our breakpoints, do whatever it is we need to do. And that's basically it. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Also, we have a help article on this as well. So if you don't want to watch the video again, I'll put a link up on the screen and you can go and leave it in the comments also down below and you can go ahead and check that out as well. So thank you very much and I'll see you again next time. Bye.